This is November 21 standard level paper 2. Let's go. Convert the masses of CO2 and H2O into moles. There are two H's in one H2O, so double the moles of H2O. 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Work out the difference in mass from the starting mass and the masses of C and H, and you'll find the moles of oxygen. It's going to be 1 to 4 to 2. We are then given the uh, molecular mass, which is 88. So C2H4O uh, comes to 44. 44 times 2 is 88. Nice confirmation. We got it right in the first place. Well done. Straightforward. Remember, 3200 is OH. 1750 is carbonyl C double bond O. No C double bond O means it must be the propanol. If it has just the absence of 3200, no OH, it must be aldehyde. And if it has both together, it's the carboxylic acid, propanoic acid. <laughs> Ionization energy increases across period three. We're adding more protons to the same shell, so it's going to be harder to remove as we go across the period. Perhaps the most contentious question on the paper. It wants P4. I'm assuming it's tetrahedral, like this, like a pyramid, actually, a pyramid. Where's the straight lines or the shared areas? I'm not sure. Balance the equation P4, 6Cl2, 4PCl3. Electron domain geometry is tetrahedral. Molecular is trigonal pyramidal, it's NH3 again. There is a permanent dipole here because of the difference in electronegativities between the phosphorus and the chlorine. Enthalpy of formation, product minus reactants. Then what finally happens to the equilibrium at higher temperatures is exothermic as we previously worked out. Therefore, it will go to the left hand side. One chloropropane with hydroxide is SN2. The role of the OH minus is a nucleophile. Iodine, the substituent, reacts faster because the bond is weaker. It's a larger atom on iodine. T1, T2. T2 is at lower temperature, so higher and skewed to the left. And at lower temperature, we're going to get less frequent successful collisions, less average kinetic energy. H3PO4 acts as any acid, reacts with hydroxide to make water neutralization. NaH2PO4 is amphoteric, it's going to react with hydroxonium and hydroxide ions. As we can see, concentration C1V1 is C2V2. See the answer on the screen. Why does it act as a bronzed Lowry base? Because OH minus plus H plus is H2O. BOD is the amount of organic matter or pollution. Uh, percent uncertainties, just add them together. And then you've got 0.12%. Moles of fire sulfate, don't forget to divide by 1,000 for decimeters cubed. And then we've got a 1 to 4 ratio of oxygen to fire sulfate. Divide by 4 and you'll get the moles of oxygen. Finally, the reduction is MN4 plus to MN2 plus. This question, uh, enthalpy of combustion, is Q over N. I got 5474. It then wants propagation and termination steps chloroethane from ethane and chlorine. You can see them on the screen there. Don't forget termination, two radicals, making a neutral molecule. Nobody liked this. They came out and said, why is the gold leaf experiment on there? It's there because it shows the atom is mostly empty space and the nucleus is infinitely dense. Sketch a 1s, a 2s, make it bigger, and a p, and give copper a finishing in 4s1, 3d10. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, smash that subscribe button and have a great day.